Let me teach you how to get shaders for Minecraft 1.21.10 and I'm gonna show you how to disable shaders with just a button and how to enable shaders with just a button as well. Super easy to do, let's go ahead and begin. Okay, for the first step, we're going to download Iris. Click on the second link in the description that is going to place you in our quick guide. In case this video is too fast for you, you could go to this article, but if you wanna make it straight to the point, just go down to step one and press on Iris shaders. That is going to redirect you over here where we're going to hit download universal jar. Iris is a shader loader and that is going to allow us to load shaders into Minecraft. Now, once you download the file, the Iris installer, I want you to place Place it in your desktop. You can find it here on your recent download history or within the default downloads folder on your computer. After you place that file in your desktop, we're ready to begin. Now, the first thing you have to make sure you do is play Minecraft 1.21.10 at least once on your PC. All you have to do is open it and then close it, and then go ahead and close your Minecraft launcher as well. And once your Minecraft launcher is closed, go ahead and double click on the Iris installer, and it should open just like this in here. And we're going to select 1.21.10. We're going to hit install. Now, if the Iris installer didn't open when you double click on it, don't freak out. All you have to do is make sure that you have Java. 21 installing your computer. Java 21 is a requirement for modding Minecraft 1.21.10 or any other version of Minecraft. So you're going to need to install Java 21 before installing the mods. I'm going to leave this link in the description. It's very easy to follow. It's an article that teaches you how to install Java 21, but you pretty much just download it and install it and that's it. Now, after Iris has been installed, hopefully you were able to install it. You're going to go ahead and close the installer and you're going to delete it from your desktop because you don't need it anymore. Now it's time to add shaders into Minecraft. For that, you first have to get some shaders and I'm going to leave this article in the description. This is what I consider to be the best free shaders for Minecraft, the top 10 best free shaders for Minecraft. You don't have to download a shader from here. This is only if you want to follow along. If you already have your own shaders, I guess you could skip this part. But for this video, I'm going to download the first shaders in here, which are Bliss shaders. So if you're following along, just go ahead and click on Bliss shaders right here. That is going to redirect you to this page where we're going to go ahead and download the most recent version. And we're going to go ahead and place that file in our desktop, just like we did earlier. Remember, you can find it here on your recent download history. Now it's time to add the shaders into the game. For that, go ahead and open your Minecraft launcher. And when the Minecraft launcher opens, if you install Iris properly, you will see select it here automatically as you can see down here in the launcher it's already selected if not you can find there under installations just to make sure modded is selected and then you should see it in here or if not you could click on new installation and then find it in there now let's go ahead and add shaders go ahead and hit play right here under iris and then read through this paragraph in here and if you agree click understand and then hit play one more time and wait for minecraft to open now while minecraft opens i managed to get you guys 35 percent off with apex hosting if you use the first link in the description to create a minecraft server this is a limited time deal for the first 50 people to click on that first link in the description you get a minecraft Minecraft server, either Java, Bedrock, whatever you want, a server that supports over 300 mod packs and a server that has locations all around the world so you don't have to worry about lagging at any moment. And of course, 35% off is a great deal with Apex hosting. Now, once the game opens to add shaders, it's pretty easy. Let's go ahead and launch a single player world to test this out. And of course, you could use shaders online. And if you don't have a server, first link in the description, 35% off with Apex hosting. And here we are. As you can see, we have X ray because I was making a video on that, which you could go ahead and already watch on how to get X ray for Minecraft 1.21.10. So here we are without an X ray. And here's how to add shaders. The first thing you want to do is press escape, head over to options, and then head over to video settings. Right here, you're going to see that this whole menu has changed, and we're going to go ahead and press on shader packs right here on the top. That'll put you in the shaders menu, and you see that we don't have any shaders in here, but we're about to add them. All you have to do is make this game a little bit smaller, enough so you can see your desktop, enough so you can see where your shaders are, and just go ahead and drag and drop your shaders into here. And as you can see, Bliss shaders will show up in there. You go ahead and select it, hit apply. And if you're not using the same shaders as me, that's totally fine. After the shaders have loaded, just go ahead and hit done, done, back to game. And there you go, you have shaders in Minecraft 1.21.10. Now, if you want to disable these shaders, it's as easy as pressing K on your keyboard. And if you want to enable them again, you can press K one more time and the shaders will load back in. You can also open the shaders menu by pressing O on your keyboard. And that's it, guys. That's how to get shaders in Minecraft 1.21.10. If this video helped you out, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.